just an example to charge a Segway you only need 75 watts so we're inputting more right now than charging a Segway a lot more to run a TV is 175 watts to run a light bulb LED light bulb is about 15 watts to 20 watts to run a Wi-Fi it's about 30 20 to 30 watts running on It fluctuates by the sun's power. Earlier we get 115. Come on. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, sun's coming up. Charging at 31 watts, 16 hours, because we don't have any sun. Right now, we have no sun, just Amion sky. And here's the setup. The solar panel is sitting on, this is actually the, the T rack for, my, for me to put the Corvette up so I can jack it up and I use it for this. Works out very well. I zip tied it, create a strong connection direction and bring it in and just charge by the window. If we get 220 watts when sun is out, then it should be under four hours, but not just a drip charge. I angled at about 30 degrees up into the sky. Of course, we got a big ass tree there right now. Uh, so we get a morning sunlight and the afternoon sunlight to about average about eight hours a day about three hours we don't have any sun here so 12 hours three to four hours we don't have sun so in our 12 hours we should get about three to four hours here and three to four hours here in the average day okay let's see how it goes quick thing is this is bifocal solar panel so you can charge from the back side I left a pretty big wide gap so when the sun hits here it should reflect and illuminate everything from the bottom and we should be able to charge from both sides and also from the side we should illuminate the whole thing and charge from both sides we're running 83 watts 83 watts so we're hitting in a somewhat of angle so this is this is good 